What's going on guys, Nick Hellman here, aka the Crypto Hitman. Is Michael Saylor about to become the drunken sailor again buying 450 Bitcoin per day, or is he referring to something much more simple? So let's look here, Michael Saylor said, what if an investor with unlimited capital announced a program to acquire 450 BTC a day at the market price for the next four years and hold the asset forever? What if they increased their purchase to 675 BTC daily in 2028? and 787.5 Bitcoin daily in 2032. Obviously, if I told you somebody is starting to buy 450 Bitcoin a day, every day at current prices, you would become ultimately very bullish on the upside potential of Bitcoin itself and the overall crypto market. But that is not what Michael Saylor is saying. Obviously, we have been hearing a lot about the Bitcoin happening, which is set to happen in about a day from now. At that time, Miners will no longer be producing 900 Bitcoin per day, but instead producing 450 Bitcoin per day. This is where supply shock can happen. If the demand remains constant or rises, and yet there's only 450 Bitcoin available instead of 900, what happens to the price? It goes up and to the right. So I do like that he's phrasing this in a different way. It puts a little bit, shines a little light on the mentality of what people have going on. Yes, Bitcoin having is coming. That means the inflation rate is cut in half. But the same way you could look at it is 450 Bitcoin are being bought off the open market because there are that many less Bitcoin available for purchase from retailers, from institutions, from these new Hong Kong spot ETFs starting in less than 24 hours. Let's see what the Bitcoin happening does this time around. We do know historically we see some sell the news and some consolidation and then mine melting gains come on the backside of that for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and of course altcoins.